I'm gonna have to hurt you now. <laughs> I'm like, oh, man! He is at once loud and reserved, brash and considerate, funny and outrageous, and he's admittedly overweight. All his life, he's played the self-described right. fat guy. Society wants to tell people, you can't do that, you fit in this place, this is your hole. You know, to me, society, you're, you're a, I've always been a big guy all my life. You're a fat dude, this is what you're supposed to do. You're not supposed to do this, that, and the other, you can't be active. And No, you decide what you do in life. But Putin is more than a fixture on 104.5's Playhouse every morning. Going on 30, feeling his mortality, shocked by the loss of friend and colleague Rick Beckett. You didn't see that coming, you know, and it's like, wow, that can happen to any one of us. Inspired by the weekly transformation of contestants on NBC's The Biggest Loser, looking to be a loser himself. I've changed the way I eat. I've changed my, uh, the way I feel emotionally, physically, mentally on every, uh, just on a daily basis. I feel 100% better. The radio jock, now a gym rat. Four days a week, losing nearly 40 pounds, his frame well below 330, and doing it all very publicly. On the radio, and now every Wednesday on 24-Hour News 8 Daybreak. On the scale, we're weighing in now. Right there. Very good. Good deal. Right there. What did I say? To start, there were doubters, even his trainer. I think if you ask Jason and some of the other guys, my trainers, they'll tell you they didn't really think I was going to last longer than a week or two. I gave him two weeks, I think. <laughs> and I've surprised myself. You're going to feel better about yourself. You're going to have more energy. You're going to enjoy life more. That's That would be my advice. Just take the first step. Putin doing just that, proving losing can be inspirational and funny too. I feel like I am the fat white Oprah who's a man.